ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ ചാനൽ ലേൺ ഫ്രം ബോൺ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ദിസ് ഈസ് അവർ ന്യൂ വെഞ്ചർ ഇൻ ദിസ് ചാനൽ വിൽ ഗിവ് യു ഓൾ ദ ലെക്ചേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ടിപ്സ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് നീറ്റ് എക്സാം ബൈ ഫോളോയിങ് അവർ ചാനൽ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു ക്യാൻ സ്കോർ ബെറ്റർ മാത്സ് ഇൻ യുവർ ബോർഡ് എക്സാം ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് എ ടിക്കറ്റ് ടു മെഡിക്കൽ വേൾഡ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലേൺ ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻ ബയോളജി ഹ്യൂമൻ ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഡിസീസസ് It is very interesting chapter because in this we are going to learn about our health and what are the main diseases affecting our body and how it is influence our normal body functioning. So first you have to know what is actually mean by health and what defines a healthy person. Health does not simply mean absence of disease or physical fitness. For example, if you are seeing a regularly gym going six pack bodied man by appearance we can say he is healthy but if the person is suffering from mental illness definitely he is not a healthy person so let's discuss about the definition of health we can start from the ancient concept that is good humor hypothesis in all this it is believed that state of body and mind is maintained by balancing of body fluids Humor, the word means liquid or fluid. The humor hypothesis states that there is a connection between health and the fluids present in our body. So according to this hypothesis, four fluids are circulating in our body. That are blood, phlegm, black bile and yellow bile. What is phlegm? Phlegm is the thicker mucus than normal due to the illness or irritation coughed up from the respiratory tract. And bile we know is... it is the secretion producer from the liver so it is believed those person having more black bile the person might have high body temperature and frequently faces fever like they believe women are basically calm due to the presence of yellow bile and black bile is removed by their regular menstruation and later this concept is disproved by william harvey by discovering circulatory system and showed normal body temperature with the help of thermometer now we enter into new concept we know our health is influenced by our mind and our mental condition and this is very much controlled by neural system and endocrine system neural system includes our brain and all the neurons and endocrine system includes all the endocrine glands such as pituitary pancreas adrenal gland and all our hormones naturally our health is maintained by immune system immune system provides us immunity that is our natural ability to resist diseases in another video we will learn all these systems in detail so in a nutshell new concept says mind and mental health affect health through neural system and endocrine system and the health is well maintained by immune system now we can learn the definition of health health is defined as a state of complete physical mental and social well being it mean physically and mentally he has to be strong and what is the meaning of socially healthy let me explain if a person having a criminal mindset he is actually a threat to society such a person we have to say they are not socially healthy now we can talk about the advantages of being healthy it is clearly mentioned in the ncert book when people are healthy they will be more efficient at their work when they love to do work it increases the productivity and brings economic prosperity and obviously being healthy increases the longevity or life span of people and reduce infant and maternal mortality it means we can reduce the chances of death of mother and the baby at the time of delivery now let's learn about what are the major threats to our health number 1 genetic disorders it is inborn or by birth and inherits from parents so many diseases are there which a child only gets from the parents example sickle cell anemia hemophilia color blindness etc number 2 infection by 
microbes we are getting diseases it can be bacteria virus or fungi etc aids common cold typhoid are example and the third one is ultimately by ourselves it is called our lifestyle like habit exercise food water and rest regular alcohol consumption can lead to liver cirrhosis and in severe case it can cause death for a chain smoker it is easy to get lung cancer and emphysema emphysema cause difficulty in breathing same way try to avoid the consumption of junk food it have more sugar and cholesterol which can damage our body now let's talk about how to stay healthy the main thing is that we have to maintain our personal hygiene proper disposal of wastes a well balanced diet and practice so exercise yoga or meditation till now we have learned about health now we can focus on common diseases in humans basically there are two types of diseases infectious disease and non infectious disease infectious disease also called the communicable disease since it is easily transmitted from one person to another example typhoid fever common cold aids etc non infectious disease also called the non communicable disease it is not transmitted from one person to another it is occurs due to maybe hereditary factors deficiency such as vitamin deficiency habits etc cancer is a very good example for non infectious disease mostly we are getting diseases from microbe such as bacteria virus fungi protozoa and helminthes helminthes or worms so disease causing organisms called the pathogen they are capable to enter into our body and gets adapted to live inside our body so we can say all pathogens are parasites and adapted to live inside the host body so student this session ends here if you like the video please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and if you have any doubts and suggestion mention in the comment box we will clarify it thank you for watching